sit here and Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Mark. Hello, Trisha. Trisha. All right. All right, I'm going on early. I'm going to wait until a few more people come on and... Hello, beautiful lady. Oh, thank you. Um, and do my uh, color chart that I did. Hello, Saran. Hello, David. I got a candy in my mouth. Hello, Bobby Clay. Anyone that is interested in a mini read for tonight and tomorrow, hello, Billy. Um, just visit my website and choose what day and time and uh, you'll get read a mini read with the million, uh, reading uh, healing insight hello Ray hello Allison Allison if you wanted a uh, reading for tonight and to or tomorrow visit my website at www.psychiclorie.johnson.com Hello, Miss Lori Driver. Hello, Patricia. Good evening. Um, hello, Miss Christine. Uh, anyone that had uh, participated in the color chart. It's uh, something I like doing with the angels. We, we kind of like do different, you know, a lot of people do tarot. I do off the wall stuff. I mean, I, I love stuff like that. Um, so it's going to be in your nows, uh, and what's going on with you. Uh, yes, Bobby, it is. Um, it should be a, a, a shortcut. Hello, Charlene. Hello, Angela. All right, so... I, uh, on my timeline, I know a lot of you guys were following me on my timeline. I like to do this on my public page now. Um, hello, Miss Dorothy. So what I'm going to do is, hello, Kelsey. So if anyone uh, that did the color chart, you're very welcome, Miss Bobby. Hi, Shirley. Um, I'm going to do that tonight, too. That's why I got on a little bit earlier than uh, what I said about the readings. Um, just let uh, just do thumbs up. Let me know that you guys are ready. Hello, Kevin. Thank you guys for joining. I have 27 people here. Hi, Miss Caitlin. All right. Um, so, hello, Miss Colette. All right. I'm going to do the color dart right now. Yes, I am, Miss Lori. Um, there's two sides. One is where I see as far as further on. I, I'm, I'm not the type of person. Thank you, Miss Christine. Uh, I'm not the type of person that stops at a particular thing. I look for everything around you. What would be better for your happiness? Um, there were uh, colors of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, brown, gray, and black. Hi, Janine. Hello, Laura. Hi, Barbara. Thank you guys for joining me. If you're interested in a reading, again, there's a shortcut on my uh, public page, or you can visit my website at www.lorie, a lot of people forget my E, johnson.com. Hello, Christina. Um... And, and go ahead and purchase your ticket for tonight. Hello, Catherine. All right. The color charts that I, I did uh, earlier, a couple days ago, good. Uh, make sure there's only one color because then you're, when you're picking more than one, what you're doing is, is you're confusing yourself. We need whatever comes to you. Hello, Kevin Roberts. Um, hello, Guy McCourt. Hello, Cindy. All right, so if you've picked more than one, you cannot do that because that's why 
you know, a lot of us don't realize that we're, we're gifted. You know, since empaths, a lot of our uh, uh, minds go everywhere because we're picking up everybody else. And if you're not understanding that you're a spirit, uh, an empath, you become it. You get you become confused and aggravated, upset. Um, you're all over the place. You find yourself, you know, in confusion, um, depressed real quick. You know what I tell my students all the time: before you take your uh, feet off. Uh, the bed in the morning think about how you're feeling take a few seconds and just just know how you are and then when you put your foot down and you're moving around on the side of your bed then things are going to start picking up especially if you are hello Joseph hello Michelle Miss Angela um, thank you guys for joining me Make sure you know how you feel before you get off that bed. When you start moving around this, the end of the bed and your mood starts changing, you've got to go to the bathroom, you've got to go get something to drink, you're starting to find yourself a little bit, uh, you know, hyper. What happened is you're picking up everybody else's energy. So you become what is around you, even if you don't even recognize it. Hello, Tammy. Long time no see. So be very careful and understand. Start understanding how you feel at that moment. All right, color charts. I'm gonna do mine first. Mine would be my insight. It would be, hello, Miss Marcy. Uh, and then that will be um, what you basically are needing or something that you're worrying about or need have in your, even though we're stuck in a home, we still can go outside. We can still get the energy. We can still read a book out, you know, if it's a nice day. It's been raining here, so kind of gloomy. Hello, Michaela. Uh, Miss Michaela, this is a $25 uh, mini read. You can stay if you like, but you can visit my website if you're interested in a reading. This is a mini read with uh, one question, or you can allow the angels to channel through me and uh, give you what needs, what I see around you. Um, Cindy, yeah, you do, honey. You have a female and a male and a young male. You have people and animals. You have an, a dog that barks. Wah, 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 wah. You have uh, many people, honey. You just don't sense it. A lot of us want it so bad that we actually push it away. And then when we're pushing away and we do get to hear the voice or, uh, you know, something as far as a, a noise that, you know, is somebody's voice trying to come through, what happens is it scares the crap out of us if you're not ready. You know, I have a deal. I can still see them. I, I don't mean to be where you are. I can still see your surroundings. I have to reject remote view. Um, I, I can do it all. Whatever is needed, I do it. Hello, Miss Sheila. Hello, Jason Piper. Um, so what happens is, even though you're wanting it, you're not going to get it because deep down, you're, it's going to scare the crap out of you. I mean, my dad passed in 06, and I see him, but am I ready to hear him? No. I'm not because then reality hits that boom but he does come around all the time hello Wendy thank you very much for joining all right so the color chart uh, if you pick the color red that uh, a lot of people think that is love if it's a rose yes but the red and and this uh, color chart that I chose I actually uh, it, it's it's basically the, uh, the you know the you know the spirituality part it's a root chakra is stable in in a grounding that means that something about you is needing uh to grab a hold of your nose you need grounding that means that a lot of things that are around you are starting to irritate you you're getting short tempered you have no patience or you're getting becoming tired um the red symbolizes energy action confidence and courage and change you have it, but you're actually needing to work on it. Most definitely uh, patience. You have to have, find patience. If you're not going to have patience with people around you, you're not going to have it for yourself. If you're not having it for yourself, you're not going to be able to have it for other people. So you have to be very careful with that. So the, the red uh, dot of the color chart. Hello, Stacy. Hello, Laura. So the red is it's trying to explain... That you're, you're needing a little bit more work on you uh, the best thing that I do even though you don't realize it if you are a empath a sensitive empath 
you have to get a pencil and you have to start writing I don't care what it is just write about your day because what you're doing is a pencil is close to the mother's earth and you're releasing what uh, doesn't belong to you for that whole entire day or you could take a bath and soak or I like showers and just soak and just think about all that what happened today and what's been on your mind and just release it you find yourself angry that means that you need to control something no we do not no we don't you control yourself you're able to control your surroundings the color red brings passion strength to your relationship so when you're you're finding yourself being able to ground yourself um, so had the courage to speak out without being and you've got to remember you've got to te talk to people the way you want to be talked to spoken to so when you find the courage and change your uh your how you are with yourself and how you are with other people it actually starts changing around you all right your life in your work so the red like i said it's anger anger impatience, up being upset you have to be very careful and, and please go back to that uh, post that I have the, the color chart on just let me know if it's on point makes sense or a no red spirituality affects stability security grounding courage action physical and emotional survival hello Stephanie thank you for joining hello Jennifer so kind of like work on a little bit of you instead of trying to work it on other people around you to be able to feel like you're in control start doing you first all right the color orange creativity and sexuality that means that maybe you're having a little bit of um standoffish a balance of orange will let a person handle the ups and downs of life with uh, finesse now we can if we grab a hold of ourselves we cannot please others if we cannot please ourselves so no one can please you unless you can please yourself quick uh, okay so let's see quickly recovering from disappointments or let's see wounded hearts or pride so like I said you've got to be careful on how you're feeling and, and withdrawing from someone if you pick the color orange because what you're feeling about yourself you're actually protruding it out outwards around you hello Veronica Chris so orange represents confidence joy and enthusiasm kind of like work on yourself about changing your surrounding changing the way you're thinking hey hey T Chris T <laughs> you're so silly all right the color yellow Personal power and fulfillment, abundance, courage, and self-confidence. The color yellow has stood for wisdom and intelligence throughout the ages. Yellow represents happiness, clarity, and sunlight. So, when yeah, if you've chosen the color yellow, uh, Miss Amber, if anyone uh, that is just joining me, I'm doing a color chart that I did. I post a couple days on my. Uh, 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 my public page and my timeline you just pick one color one color that draws you if you kind of close your eyes and say okay you have to use your intuitiveness your your gut instinct talk to your angels your loved ones all right close your eyes and pick what color comes to you on that chart and then that's where you need work on or what's going on around your surroundings all right a lot of you guys are dehydrated you're kicking my butt I, I'm getting the dry throat. Take it a few minutes and go get something to drink because I can pick every single one of you guys up. Please go get something to drink. Make sure you got water. I don't care what you got. Just call me the coffee lady. Hello, Miss Joy. Uh, good morning. Uh, uh, this is evening for me, uh, Kevin. All right, Stephanie, you need to go get something to drink, please. Hello, Melissa Leeds. Hello, Joanne. Thank you very much for joining. All right, so I, like I said, if anybody is just joining, uh, once this is over, please go and you're okay. So it, it watched what the rest of I'm doing here, and then when I'm done during the day, or you know when I'm done with the reading, all 
go and rewatch the video. All right, one of you guys have, I, I have, I, you, you, somebody is, uh, it's a female. She just pinned her hair up. She has light eyes. Her, her name starts with an S. Honey, you've got to go get fit, checked. Because to me, I think you've got some kind of a, a, a virus going on. Because you're, I'm picking you up. I can see you. All right, guys, thank you very much for joining. All right, let's go back to um, the color yellow. Yeah, um, the yellow represents personal power and fulfillment, abundance, courage, and self-confidence. This doesn't mean that you have it or you have it. You're just not using it. You're not honing in there. Hello, Glenn Williams. Um, so you need a little bit more work on that. All right, so let's see. Uh, the color yellow has stood out for wisdom, intelligence throughout the ages. Yellow represents happiness, clarity, sunlight, a stimulating, joyous inte intellect color. Yellow is an optimistic, confident, and full of self-esteem. That means that you've got to work on you a little bit, okay? Work on a little bit of how you feel about yourself. And, and if there's something that's irritating you. Hello, Amanda. Thank you, guys. Hello, Robert, Brittany. Um, work on yourself you know even though it, it, it's a hello Tammy even though it's a pain in the butt that we're stuck in the house doesn't mean we can't take advantage of it I think that it's a good Lord's way of slowing us down and letting us find ourselves again I mean everybody's working uh, overtime everybody is getting uh, irritated easily it's time to start meditating playing from Moto Z 2 all right, Valerie just tried calling me. Sorry, guys. All right, so um, please uh, make sure that uh, you work on you at, for this time being. All right, so the color green. The color green meaning spiritually affects our ability to express unconditional love, forgiveness, and compassion. Green represents abundance, renewal, growth, and nature. It is a harmonizing balance and calming color. Green is a healing color that gives healing energy to the to the heart. That means, and you know it's kind of cool. You can actually copy that uh, chart and, and just try to remember what I, I'll write these on the chart uh, post. Uh, Stephanie, if you can uh, keep an eye on the uh, the scrolling of the people that are wanting a reading and let and give them a shortcut to be able to uh, purchase a reading tonight with the healing insight it is a one question with the healing insight or you can allow the angels to come through me and tell you know I can give you a reading around your your surroundings all right so green you we need to work on a little bit we have you have to work on um, you have it in you it's just you have to work a little bit more harder on believing in yourself and that's the problem with a lot of us, you know. Um, all right, so blue, energy. Blue represents the spiritual aspects of our life. Blue is the color of purity and those who enjoy enjoy it. Uh, let's see. Carry with them a sense of calmness, peace, serenity, and beauty. This energy is peaceful and soothing. So if you, you chose the blue, that means that this is what you need to work on. You, you, because there's something beautiful about all of us. That's why I love doing what I do. And that's why things come to me so easily is because I accept it. I acknowledge it. I don't fight it. Back in the day, I did. I was very insecure about myself. Hello, Reed Brown. Thank, congratulations on your baby. So um, you have to work on a little bit. I will post these on that chart. And if you, if you know that you are drawn to it, no matter if it's a week from now, and you're wanting to work on it, get a blue shirt. Start wearing it. Because then when you're starting to see it, you're starting to acknowledge it. Joseph, your, your ability to not shut down, baby, you're, you're hurting, you're depressed, and you're lonely. Get a reading for tonight and, and allow me to... 
um, look for you, honey. You, you, Joseph, it's there, honey. I can see it. You're very sad. You're very lonely. Joseph Franco, you, you have not lost it, baby. You lost yourself. You haven't lost anything but the faith in yourself. turn my phone down so that way it's not going to ding 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 okay um all right the color purple all right relates to the imagination and spirituality this is the union of body soul creating an abundance between our physical and our spiritual energies purple or violet assist those who seek the, me uh, the meaning of life and spirituality fulfillment expands our awareness of connecting us to a higher conscience that means that okay so if that's the spiritual side and uh let me get my chart because i like my chart as well um purple oh, your emotional wreck and feeling lost so that means that spiritually you're needing a little bit more work on um, the healing and the uh, fulfillment that you feel that's missing in, in your life. You got to work on it. I don't care if it's a phone call. I don't care if it's a letter. I don't care if you write a letter and fold it in fours. You know, when I always say fold it in fours and plant it under a flower or a garden. And allow it to, if it's meant to be, it'll bloom. And it'll, it'll help you find where you need to be. All right. Color pink. This one was a long one. Um, all right. So pink on my, my insight was needing a change in your surroundings. The color pink in spirituality represents compassion, nurturing, and love. Same thing. <laughs> It relates to an unconditional love and understanding and the giving and receiving of nurturing. So something within yourself, if you have chose pink, it means that there, there's some work that you need to do within yourself, within, uh, well, you know, ar around others. So kind of like work with that a little bit. I don't care if you help your neighbors uh, sweep their sidewalk. Ask them if they need any help or ask your child if they would help you, you know, do some kind of a... Um, uh, something in the house. It doesn't matter. Sit there and cut little snowflakes out and put it all over your wall. It doesn't matter. You have to do something to be able to find yourself in the nurturing love type person that you truly are. Um, a combination of a red, white, pink contains the need for action of red. So, like I said, I will write this back on. Yes, change your surroundings if you chose pink. Meaning that Okay, so I move my furniture around when I start feeling like I'm stuck and I'm, I, I need to get to go and go, 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 and I can't. I move my furniture around. I'm a cleanaholic, so I move my furniture anyways. But when I move my furniture in another position or a different place, what happens is I feel like I'm in a different spot. That means I've changed the energy around my, in my surroundings. <coughs> All right, let's finish reading the pink. All right, so I'm going to post this on that chart, but I'm still going to uh, let you guys know what it means. The combination of red, white, and pink contains the need of action of red, helping it to achieve the potential for success and insight offered by the white. That means you're not alone when you've chosen the pink. That means that there's more things going on in, in your surroundings that you're not paying attention to. Um, so kind of like spread, spread it out. If, if you've got a, a room full of knickknacks and junk and, and, and it's driving you crazy and you're walking in another room and it start, you're starting to feel that you're getting aggravated. Remember, everything has energy. Even your thought is energy. You can throw your thought energy towards 
the outwards and everybody around you starts becoming perturbed, aggravated, mad for no reason. Everybody's pissy at each other. You've got to be very careful. You're a very sensitive person. So you've got, no matter who, what color you chose, whatever color you chose, if you know out of the spiritual side of what the spiritual side is, start wearing that color around you. Hello, Miss Sandra. All right, so uh, let's go to the next one. It's brown. It's a neutral color associated with the earth as a result of giving a sense of stability and support. Meaning, if you chose brown, you are so not grounded. You're so not protecting yourself. And you're a very sensitive type of person. That means that brown, it chose you, not you, it, but it chose you, meaning there's something that you're not releasing. You you need to release. Get with Mother Nature. Sit beside a tree. All right. Um, let's see. Given its link to the earth, brown brings to mind farming, agriculture, to other outdoorsy activities. That basically the same thing. Grounding. When you're planting a flower, you're grounding. You're pulling weeds, you're grounding. You're, you're grounding as one. Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I don't think anybody chose black, but I will do that on the chart. But what I did with black, it says feeling content. Even though black is the darkest color, it actually isn't. <coughs> Excuse me, it's kind of dry in here. Hold on. Alright, so, um,. I'm picking up somebody. I'm seriously picking up somebody. All right, so the black was feeling content. Now, this is my insight. This is my spiritual channeling. All right, so the red, I put uh, the root chakra. That means that there's something to do with your top root chakra. Needs a little bit of more balance and, and cleansing and clearing. Meditation, music, listen to the music, go walk around in the, the outside. Orange. You have a little bit of anger because of loss, or there's loss in your life and you're still holding on to it. Hello, Miss Nicole. Nicole Tia. Very beautiful name. Hello, Kim. Hello, Chris. All right, so um, kind of like work with that. You need to release um, yellow, needing the feeling to be elsewhere. Um, I already read the spiritual side. Yellow, you know, I, I love yellow. Yellow, I've loved since I was two years old, and I always felt the need, the need to be somewhere else. I couldn't, I cannot sit, sti sit still in one place, and I don't know, it could have been my father being uh, uh, a truck driver, I'm not sure, because we were constantly moving. All right, green, you become very moody, especially with this... Uh, solitude that we have so kind of like keep your space get a little bit extra uh, water in you and just find time for yourself just space for yourself blue wishy-washy emotions hello Lorraine hello Tracy so if you're finding yourself becoming a little uh, sensitive and emotional Find something to do. Paint something. Color something. Do a puzzle. Get online and play the games. It doesn't matter. Keep your mind occupied elsewhere than where your deep emotions are. Purple. Emotional wreck. Alright, so purple is a healing color, but when it comes to yourself and you're drawn to it, it just means that... Uh, you're, you're thinking too, it, it, it's almost the same as the blue, you're, you're thinking too, too deep, way too deep. All right, pink, needing a change in your surroundings. Change your surroundings. You don't need to change yourself. Well, thank you, Miss Kim. All right, brown. Brown actually, to me, it came to me like lo love was just an exclamation point. Um, you're questioning it. Um... Stop questioning it. It's actually you. You're getting bored. So if you're getting bored with your mate and you chose that brown, you, liven it up. 
liven it up. Go make a, uh, you know, fried chicken, uh, potato salad, coleslaw, and do a, a picnic out in the backyard. You don't need to go away from your home to find romance. Um, all right, great. You're uh, sensitive. Sensitivity is really bothering you. Um, that means sensitivity as far as uh, vibrations from the, the floor. All right, so put your feet in water. I don't care if you make a little puddle or get a pool and just sit in it because you're picking up too much. You're picking it up too much. All right, so I'm done with that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a two-minute break. Then I'm going to start the readings. And then um, please go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not your mom, but go to the bathroom, get something to drink, something to munch on. I can hear you all munching too, so. But uh, I'll be back in two. All right, you get to look at all my stuff. Anybody that is interested in a reading tonight, please purchase. It is first come, first serve. All right, Stephanie, if you could put them all in order, then I'll know. Um, I'm going to see if I can pull you guys on. Or actually, if you're my friend, send me a message on Messenger and I'll call you on that. If you do not want to be seen. If you do not want to be seen, you can actually uh, talk to me on the Messenger without anybody uh, hearing. If you hear my, me call your name or Stephanie uh, say the name first, that's the person that will call me first. All right, Stephanie, can you give the first name, please? That's going to be first. All right, Stephanie, type my phone number so they can call. Just type my number. The first come, first serve. Please do not call out of order. Hello, Susan. Hello, Todd. We're on a break. Please grab something to eat or send something to drink. Because I can pick up everybody's emotions, their health. Hello, Patricia Cassidy. It can be a messenger call. Yes, Stephanie.
I do not own this music. Ready. Who's ready? I love singing. Sorry. If I killed you, I didn't mean it. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. Staff, who's the first uh, caller? You're very welcome, Verena.
Yes, it is. It releases more than you know, she says. I love it. I've been a singer all my life. Choir, church, all of it. I'm just a shy girl. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Please don't call me unless it is your reading. Cheryl, I saw what you were saying. All right. All right. Who is my first caller, please? All right. We can call this number for the time being. That's for the first uh, caller, Steph. Yes, yeah, so your name is called. You will call. My son was just tested for the corona last night. My daughter just gave a message. Said he's fine. His breathing still sucks when he first wakes up. But once he gets going, he's all right. Please keep my, my baby in your prayers. Everybody that is suffering or even getting this crap, please keep him in your prayers. Thank you. All right, the first person that uh, Stephanie just uh, said, please call. Christina Dowden. All right, the first person, please call me. Hello. Hi. Am I supposed to call on my phone? Am uh, I supposed to do it through the? You can uh, do the phone here if you don't want to be oh, seen, or phone. you can do messenger. Okay, so I can send him out. I did the messenger. Whatever she wants to do. Okay, so how many people is going to be on the reading? Just me. Okay. All right. Well, I am, I am Lori, honey. Uh, oh, you are? <laughs> oh, okay. Is this a re Oh, I'm confused. No. Okay, you, I'm seeing you talking, but it's... Okay. All right. You, you called me on my cell phone. Got it. Okay. So, should, should I... Okay. Whatever you want to do. All right. Do you want to do Messenger to be seen and go live with me? Or no, I don't. All right. So, what do you want? How, okay, you you have one question, or um. I'm kind of just looking for direction. I'm going to be moving to Minnesota, and I'm going to be just changing my life. I'm moving back home, and I'm leaving a career here, and I'm not sure what I should do as far as when I get there. Should we continue? Um, well, you, path, you, your move is really good, but I don't see uh, the same exact path you're gonna you're taking now. I see a different one coming. Somebody's going to offer you something, and you're going to be a little bit of hesitant about it, but you're going to be fine. You're happy. So it's the same career? It's or somewhat. Career? It's the same. Somewhat the same, but not the exact. Okay. But you're going to be around friends. Do you? How many people you know there? A lot. It's my, it's my family. Okay. Yeah. So it's something to do with that. Okay. And an oh, and an old friend. I see an old friend coming forward. Oh, okay. Good. Yep. And honey, you need to take care of your stomach, baby. Okay. You're kicking my butt. Your foot's kicking my butt. Your knee's kicking my butt. Okay. Yeah, it's your left side, honey. I can feel it. My left side. Yeah, I'm standing in front of you, so if you get cold draft, that's me. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And is that your child in the in the background? No. Who's the Who's the lady? There's nobody here. Just me. All right, hold on. Let me look to see. Honey, who's the lady that passed? Kind of heavy set. Um, heavy set. If you you guys see me stare, it means I'm in her house. Sorry. Okay. I'm who's sure. who's uh, uh Betty? Betty? Betty. 
Yep. That would be, gosh, I got like a great aunt, and she would have passed a long time ago. It doesn't matter. There is no, there's okay. no such thing as day, times and days. She's in your house, right by your oh, couch. Wow, you look a lot like her. A lot. You have your, you have a different shape of the face, but you look a lot like her. Huh. I, I just, I remember her when I was really young, and that's, that's the most I remember. That's the only Betty that I know of, other than a it's, friend of a friend, but she's still alive. Nope, she, this lady's got, I can do genealogy, so her blood is almost the same as yours. Interesting. Yep. I think she's worrying about you. I think she's your guardian. Honey, are you gifted? You know I live your life I, to tell you the story you're not paying attention to. You are gifted. Okay. You're you you're an intuitive. Your gut you you fight your own. I'm an, I'm an empath. I feel like I'm an empath. You're yes. a sensitive empath. You're not an empath. You're a, there's a difference. You're oh, what's the difference? A sensitive empath means that you can live everything. You can feel everything. A sensitive means that you're sensing uh, uh, mood changes. Uh, yes. Okay. No, honey, you're a sensitive means that you're living it. You're becoming it because you're not. Um, meditating, you're not releasing it, but you're an intuitive too. Okay. Yeah, and you. So how do I develop that? And who's the young male that died? <laughs> There's nobody that I know of that's died any time. Well, oh. you said time doesn't matter. No, okay. he is on your. Okay, he's on your mom's side. He died young. It looks like an accident. Well, my mom's uh, my mom's uh, brother died when he was probably around. 35. Yeah, like and he wears, he wears glasses. He wears glasses. Yep, yeah. you say hi to him because he just walked in. <laughs> Is he? Oh. Yep, yep, he just walked in. Okay. Yep. Maybe, no, Betty's on the same side of the family. I know, but he, so. he just came in. Yep, he well, just came nice. in. I'm yeah. glad that he's, he's visiting. Yeah. So any, anything else physically that I need to For know you, about? Do you have thyroid going on? I probably do. I don't. Change, change your eating problem. habits. And, and have you ever been tested for uh, diverticulitis, diverticulosis? Um, I had a colonoscopy okay. about five years ago. My mom had it. Okay, just be very careful. Get, don't eat seeds, no no strawberries, no bananas unless you gut it out. Um, your thyroid is, is, is not active too much, but on the left side, it's a little swelled up. Okay. So kind of like uh, I, what I did, I, I have a healer with me. I'm a shaman, uh, shaman healer. And I have healers everywhere. And I started eating uh, artichokes, not the, the leaf part, but the artichoke itself. And okay. and it actually takes the swelling down really, uh, okay. uh, real good. Um, just be oh, careful sorry. with that uh, diverticulosis. Okay. Real, uh, yeah. And your mom's passed? No, my mom's here. My, my father passed. It's but your... my mom's still around. Okay. What, okay, so I see your dad. Is he balding? Is he light here, light he on the... Died, he died when he was 50, so... Okay, um, was he was he receding the hair a little bit? Just a little bit. Okay. Back, just uh, a very little bit, yeah. Okay, I, I, I see your dad. And why is he showing me th th thumb sucking? What does that mean? Thumb sucking? Yeah. No idea. I never was a thumb sucker, so I have no idea what that's about. Is your dad a goofball? No. Okay, <laughs> ask your mom what the thumb sucking means. Else. No, 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 it's your dad. You have your dad's high cheekbones. You've got your dad's eyes. Yeah, no, it's your dad. Okay. And a goofball. Hmm. Yeah. Very circus. Ask your mom what the thumb sucking means. Okay. Because he ask just, her. or it's biting his fingernails. Maybe. I don't know if he, if he did that or not. I, mean, I don't think I he's. Don't. I don't think he's talking about him. He's talking about you. Maybe I did as a child. And nobody ever told me. I have no idea. I don't know. So, uh, as far as and your dad had a belly? I'm sorry? Did your dad have a belly? Yes, he had a belly. Uh, okay, and was your dad mechanically inclined? No. Why does he keep showing me a truck? I don't know. He didn't own a truck. He was, um, he was an insurance salesman. And, uh, okay, honey, truck represents traveling. Traveling is sales. And what's wrong with his finger? Did he have arthritis really bad in his fingers? No. I wonder, maybe, you know what, you might be talking about my grandfather. 
That sounds more like my Is that your mom's? I don't know. You my look mom's, like... My mom's father. This is all... Do you look... Like I don't father. know about that. Okay. Do, do you look like him? I, mean, I look more like my grandfather on my mother's side than I do my father. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So well, he's coming... Be... Okay, because he's coming as a father figure. Okay. Yeah, that sounds more like... And he's a goofball. Be... He's being a goofball. Yeah, he, he can be goofy. Yeah, he can be goofy. And he has a dog with him. Okay, Could did you, did it, was it a, a medium long hair dog, black and white? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. It's, he, he has it. And he's oh, coming as the father. That's interesting. He's coming as a father figure. Huh. I don't know. I was close with him, so well, maybe that's why. Yeah, true. I mean, I was close to my grandpappy. He was Irish. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But he's most yeah. definitely with your mom. Yeah. He's with you a lot. A lot, lot. Yeah. Like you are his kid. It makes me feel good. Yeah. It's and nice you, you do you look know. a lot like him. I'm serious. A lot like I, him. I, yeah, I've, I've got... Uh, and he was balding. And he has lighter hair. Yeah, light. Yeah. Definitely a round, round belly. And, and big, ear, big, big, thick ears. Yeah, yeah. He has that too. And, and arthritis in his fingers. Okay. Okay, because he's pretending himself as the father. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's okay. It just means he loves you. Maybe just protect, yeah. Well, it's it's protecting, but it's also his baby. You are his baby. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So my my future's good. Everything looks good. I see you're really good, but you need to be very careful on the vehicle that you're driving in. Okay. A, a front passenger with tire needs to be looked at. Oh, I just had it fixed. Okay. Maybe that's what, Maybe that's what it is. Okay. Yep, I just had it fixed. Okay. All right. And and, and your granddaddy was mechanically inclined. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was, yeah, that's what he, he was, um, Cause he, he was like the maintenance man for the oh, financial insurance company. Yep, you know? yep, okay. So, it's, yeah, now, we're, this is who we're talking about. It okay. wasn't my father at all. Well, was like shame on father. him for making me think he's your daddy. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. That's so nice, though. Yeah. All right, baby, then, do, do you need anything else? Yeah, I'm just, is there any love interest in them at all? Cause I, you you know, push that away, baby. Yeah, I know I did. You, you still do. You're fearing it. I still push it away. <laughs> yeah, you're fearing uh, the same bull crap. Okay. All right, so I, how do I release that? Once you move, I think you're going to be able to release it. You're going to, um, uh, oh, flame. Oh, that's nice. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. God bless you, honey. God bless you, too. All bye right. Bye-bye. All right, Stephanie, next person, please. Now they can call me on the phone or they can call me off a of messenger. All right, you guys can hear the conversation between me and the caller. Well, right on. Okay, so whoever just called me, can you put the person that just called me? Can you please write your name on there so we know that you did call? Okay, all right. All right. Well, just uh, okay. So we got to hang out because I'm going live. All right, and just tell uh, uh, tell me uh, the next person. They have to send me a messenger uh, a call. Ka Kathy Delarocco, please call me on messenger. All right, bye. Kathy Delarocco, please call me on messenger. Hi, Anna, sissy. <laughs> All right, somebody just called, and it was out of uh, uh, the line. So please don't call me unless Stephanie uh, lets you know to go ahead and call me.
All right. Hello. Hi, this is Kathy. I, I couldn't find the thing for Messenger. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It, this is Kathy. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, is your mom gone? Uh, no. Okay, so this lady's coming forward as a mother figure. Is it grandma? Yes. Okay. And she loves you. She's yelling at me, but she loves you. <laughs> That's my grandmother. <laughs> yeah. A little short thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She loves you. She says, damn it, I am too your mother. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, darling, do you want to uh, let the angels come through, or do you want you have a question? Uh, just let the angels come through. I just need some positive. All right, well, most definitely Grandma's coming through, and there's a male coming through as well. He's grabbing his chest, so he's had a heart attack, breathing issues. I can smell a little bit of cancer on him. Yeah. Who is that? That's my dad. Say hi, honey. He's always with me. Uh, he says, damn right I am. <laughs> yeah, he loves you. He's very proud of you. You did something that you said you were going to do, and you did it. It's to do with your mother. Huh? It was something to do with your mother. I take care of my mom. Yep, he knows. He says, that's my girl. Add a girl. Yep. It's actually his mom that's yelling at you. Oh, no wonder they're together. He let her come through <laughs> first, but yeah. she said, that's my baby. Yeah, yeah. All right, honey, you need to uh, change your eating habits. You need, you, you're need you getting very stressed out here lately. I, I have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're a little lightheaded. Have your ears checked a little bit. Do you have uh, sinus issues going on, too? I do, and my ears, I started having vertigo as a matter of fact today. Yeah, I can see that, but it's a, it's a you've got... Get into a um, humidifier or a pan with some Vicks in it and put your head around over around it, honey, because you've got a infection on the uh, left side. I'm standing right beside you, so that cold draft is me. Yep. Yeah. And you're the one I was picking up because you were giving me a really irritated throat. Did you just yeah, put your hair you up? Said that I was drinking water. That was weird. Oh, my God, honey. That you were, was, you were. My whole left side. You were kicking my butt. I feel like ten times fall to tell the story. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, no, I'm very good. <laughs> yeah, you are, because that was crazy. I was just getting up when you said somebody was dehydrated. I'm like, ah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, you were, you were really kicking my butt. <clears throat> Still are, because <clears throat> I've got allergies right now. Plus, I smoke, and, I, and it's not a good thing, but... Yeah. Your left knee also is a little swelled, baby. You've got a little bit of fluid on it. Wrap it, okay? Okay. And when and you have a little bit of restless leg syndrome, put pillows under your uh, knees, okay? Because you also have a little bit of stinging. Do you have fibro? Uh, not that I know of, but I can tell. I'm a massage therapist, so I've been massaging my knees and my hips especially. Yeah, but your hip is actually a sciatic nerve on a little bit below almost towards the, the middle part of your buttocks, baby. It's yeah. you, when you, I can see you, you slipped and hit, and you landed on something, you have a appendicitic nerve. You can actually, they're telling me, um, start moving your uh, leg backwards and stretch, and you can pop, okay. you'll pop it out, but that knee has got some fluid on it. Okay. And, and I, I've been doing this, because I, like I said, I'm a shaman healer, I always ask what I can do without having to pop a freaking pill in my body. Exactly. I, so they said take a Q-tip, and it sounds weird, but clean your nose with peroxide and then put some Vicks in. And it, it actually has been helping me. Oh, really? Yes. I, I've got um, allergies so bad. Yep. But you, you start doing that and then I'll put Vicks in. It'll help you, especially okay. at night because I can hear you snore a little bit. Yeah. You're on the right side of the bed if I'm at the end. Yes. <laughs> I'm really good at what I do. Yeah. But you toss and turn, too. You like your feet out. You don't like hot. How old are you? You're going through uh, a <laughs> I'm 49. 
time. Okay, your paws will take like my feet out. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, the best thing is when you're having those uh, flash like that, put a wash rag, wet a wash rag, put it in the freezer, let it freeze out, and then put it around the back of your neck. It actually calls, uh, calms all of that down. about having a headache. Oh, so funny. Actually, the headache, it depends on where it's at. You can actually pinch. Squeeze the middle of your palm. It takes it away. But if it's a, if that was a tension, but if it's a migraine, you put your feet in ice water. Really? Yeah. I, I love home remedies. And I, I, so do I, and that's why I love massage therapy because people will tell me one thing and I was like, nope, it's on the other side. I can feel it. And yeah. then I'll just go through and I'll knock everything out. Yep, you're most definitely gifted too. You know that, don't you? I have a feeling. Who's, who's the young uh, Bew? He's, he's an ex. Uh, you were young. He died. Who is he? <gasps> he's there. He's gorgeous. Yep. You can say hi to him too. Hyper as shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mark. That's my fiance who died 25 days before my wedding. Yep. He says, I ain't left you. He said, Who the hell, who left you? He's funny. But I keep dreaming about him. And he's with you. Because I know he's being happy, but he left. And like, this from stupid stuff that he did. But it makes me so mad. <laughs> he said, Well, you're keeping me uh, with a headache, too, you know. He calls you, uh, let's see, what he called you? Why does he say my little lollipop kid? He, I was also pregnant. Oh. And every, or every time I see a therapist, they always bring him up and they always have him singing little songs. And my, I was pregnant and had a miscarriage actually a month and a half before he, he passed. It was a boy. Was it? Yeah, but he, that baby, it wasn't the baby's time, mama. The baby had no, a lot of health issues. Yeah, that baby, you were going through a lot of trauma, too. A lot. Yeah. No, that baby will be back. That baby's already back. How many kids you got? I have one, and he's my miracle baby. Uh, that's the baby that you lost. He's 16 now. Yeah. And he was a preemie. He was 11 weeks early. He's the baby you lost, honey. He came back. It just wasn't his time at that moment. Yep. Your 16-year-old's a stubborn little butt. It's all right. It's, it's reason, season, or lesson. He's gifted too. Yep. You need to gargle with some warm salt water or something because your your throat is kicking my butt. Okay. Yeah, it's just your nose draining. Do what I said with the peroxide. Um, the best time is to do it after a warm shower. But okay. You need Vix uh, uh, vaporizing something in your shower and in your room. Okay. Yeah, because it's dry and it's dusty in your room, baby. It is really. I have a lot of... Leave the window space. open. Just cracked open a little bit. Not a lot. And keep a fan on your feet. You won't ha have such a miserable time sleeping. <laughs> yeah. You're gifted big time. You're a medium. You see, you see him. I do. I know. I do all the time. And when I'm, I'm staring, it's because I'm living. I don't know if you're watching me, but I'm staring. And when I stare, I'm at your house looking around. And why I'm living your life. And that's what you see him. And he is so hyper. What's up with him with toilet paper? I mean, not toilet paper, but toilet. Oh, I don't know. It drives him nuts when he's running. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and who's the military guy that died? My, that was my dad. Yeah, say hi to him. Wow. Your dad jumps a lot to the older man to the young guy. Older man, the, young guy. Oh, the old, the young guy jumps. He was very hyper. Your your fiance most definitely he still is. Yeah. But when your dad changes. He's he's the older guy, but then he's the younger guy in the military. Oh. That's one good thing about when we pass. We don't have to be who we were when we die. We go to our happy time. Yeah, I every time I turn around, and even my son, when you said he was gifted, we always, every time we look at a clock, it's 11-11 or 1-11. That's, your, an, that's or, your angels. Yeah, but when you get in that, you're actually, that even though it's a higher uh, rank number, an angel number, it's actually letting you know who's around. 11-11 yeah. is your fiancé. 
10 tens your dad, 9 nines your dad. Uh, grandma likes uh, 2 2 2. I see 2 2 2 a lot. That's grandma. Yep. Yep. They love you. They're very proud of you, but you need to stop being a butthead. That's what they told me. They said, you need to stop being a butthead. That's funny. I'm fighting with my ex-husband right now. I know. They said, she said, what the hell are you picking the phone up for? <laughs> stop. <laughs> she wants to slap your little hands with her little white finger. <laughs> long, long finger. And that's what she would do. She would just, she's a, a Swede. So she's like this old-fashioned you. <laughs> uh, she'll kick you too and beat you with her slipper. It's pink. Mm -hmm. That's exactly her. Yeah. She says, I ain't changed and don't you get on my nerves. Mm. <laughs> she loves her. That's awesome. Yep. Yep. All right, baby girl, you got any questions? Make sure you follow uh, with directions on that healing stuff, honey, because it's really bad. I will. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, baby. God bless you, honey. You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Next person. Ooh, that girl got me lightheaded. Woo. Hello, Colin. Hello, Mary Lou. Hello, John Horton. All right, Steph, who's next, honey? Well, thank you very much. Lori Driver? All right, hold on. I think she sent me a message. Um... Let me see if I can find her. Hello, Bruce. All right, let me see if I can find Lori. Uh, all right, baby, just call me on the cell phone, okay? Lori, call me on the cell. Oh, well, good, Sissy. Ana Maria Lupia. Thank you. I can do it, Kelsey, live. John Horton, you start reading my mind. I'm getting ready. <laughs> such a, he is such a tattletale. Hi, Sandy. All right, Lori, I just posted. Okay. Hello. Hello, is this Stephanie? Nope, this is Lori. Oh, hi, Lori. <laughs> it's uh, two different. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay. I couldn't get through on your audio or uh, video on Facebook. Hmm. So, yeah, but okay. you have to, what I, yeah, but what I was doing was uh, you, you send me a message on Messenger and then I, I answer the call on Messenger. Yeah, I just can't, there's no, uh, there's no audio or video on Messenger with, the, with your page. Um, Stephanie uh, texted me there through Facebook and there is on her message, but not on yours for some reason. I'm not sure why. All right, can you oh. see me? I can, I can. Ah, oh, hello. Yes, hi. <laughs> now I can turn you. Let's see if I can get it in there. Well, hello. How are you? Oh, let's see. Hold on. Somebody just popped in your head. And how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. 
I'm good. You have uh, a lady and a man with you. Is that okay. your is that your parents? No, no, they're both still alive. Okay, so I have dad's mom and mom's dad with you right now. All my all my grandparents are gone. Okay, but you have right now dad's mom and mom's dad. Yeah, yeah. The tall skinny one, that's your, your uh, mom's dad? Yes. Okay. And, and the little short lady is your dad's mom? Uh, yes, I never met her. Oh, she, you, ha you look a lot like her, except she's got more rounder face. You look more like dad's side of family, shape-wise. Yes. Agreed. Well, I don't know you, so I'm just telling you spiritually. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Yeah, most definitely gift it. You know it too. Sorry. Yes. No. <laughs> it's okay. You most definitely gift it. Or um, I get a lot of uh, uh, like medical and teacher wise with you, like a therapist or uh. What do you do for your your work, honey? Because you questioned yourself. At 19, you quite, you changed. You went against your, you went, okay, listen. You went against your own, uh, wanting what you wanted to do. Uh -huh. Yeah, at 19. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm living your life, so if I'm staring at you, it's because I'm living your life. Yeah, so what is it that you do? Um, now, I, uh. I see I, a lot of books with you. Yeah, I drive, I drive school bus, actually. Living now. Yep. But you know, you're at peace with kids, though. Even mm -hmm. though it drives you crazy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but you, that's a good thing that you're around the kids, though, because you are most definitely a healer. You should have been a therapist and, and not question it. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, it's funny you should say it's not funny, but at 19, I did what I thought was expected, not followed what I wanted. Right. And you're right. Yep. Because you're a lot like me because your name is spelled almost the same as mine. Mm -hmm. We're, st we're stubborn. <laughs> yes, we are. It has nothing to do with the red hair. It's the name. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. Yep. yep. Most definitely uh, an intuitive empath. You see shadows too. You see your, uh, your granddaddy. You see him a lot. Who's the male that died real young? It looks like an overdose. Away at a young age. Yeah, you say hi because he just walked in. Yeah. And a fem Actually, and a female and a female that died in a car accident. She shows me a car. Um, Stacy, Tracy, Stacy, Tracy. Kind of like dirty blonde hair, real light dirty blonde hair. Curly, it's curly. You were in your twenties, twenty seven. She died. Oh my god. I don't know who you're talking about. I don't. I, I just say hi because she's she loves you like the sister. Even though she just called you a jackass. Sorry, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I haven't thought about her in years. Well, she's it, thought of you. Wow. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 She's there. And jackass is the perfect word. Yep, yep. She says you need to chill. She she's trying to channel right through through me. She she yeah. really wants to talk to you. She said because you are one effing hoot. <laughs> you are an effing hoot. Oh god, yeah. We had some fun. We had some fun. Uh, you don't need to tell me because I can't live your life to tell you, and it's none of my business. No. Yeah, that's exactly what she said. It's all good. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And and he says, What's up, babe? Oh. Wow. What's up, babe? Dolph. Yeah. He called you doll face. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're very much loved. You know, that's what good Lord says. It's not about what you have on earth. It's how many people that follow you and you're alive or dead. 
and they love you. Granddad's a little uh, bossy, but he's he's okay. He loves you. <laughs> Granddad's very bossy, and he needs to need to know. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to he needs to needs to know. He smoked. Yes. Because he's trying to take my cigarette. Yes. Have you yeah, my dad was too, but yeah, he's trying to take my cigarette. <laughs> He can't harm himself no more than what he did. Yeah, yeah, but he actually didn't die from no cigarettes. He died from a stomach issue. He has a very bad uh, stomach virus. There's yellow pus in his stomach, so there was some kind of infection. He didn't. I don't. I could smell a little bit of cancer on him, but that's not what killed him. No, I don't believe it. No, nope, he has an infection in his stomach. Yep, and it was leaking. Whatever it is, it's leaking. So he had a, a bowel instruction or something like that? Honestly, I'm... He passed away. Say it again. I say he passed away. No. Oh, he committed suicide. No, no. That's Ow, not, yeah. okay, but that's not what killed him, baby. Mm -hmm. Alcoholism, I see his liver. It is, it's got a little bit yellow on the top. His stomach started getting hard, but there was something in his stomach above uh, the, my left, his right side of his belly button. It was leaking. Whatever it is, it's leaking. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not any of that, but I'm pretty damn good at what I do. <laughs> So I'm going to say it was an infection. There's something, there's a bad, it's bad. Whatever it is, it's bad. There was nothing that anybody could do. Okay. He popped a lot of pills too. Probably. Um, Maybe that's what three years. Okay. Cause that's what I'm feeling. That could have been what caused it was the pills. He was diabetic too. He was borderline, baby. I smell that sugar on him. Yeah, he could have been. And he's deaf in his left ear. I can hardly hear out of it. And his eyes were going bad. He's strong. He's a strong man. Quiet. He was strong. He was stubborn. Ain't no quiet. He was stubborn. He's very. He's a, he's a hoot. He enjoyed his uh his his time. He said my time. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Lori. You're welcome. Yeah. Now you have to keep an eye on your mom. Keep an eye on your mom. Let me move my picture out of your face. It looked like you were Popeye. <laughs> keep an eye on mom. She's getting a little weak. How old is your mom? Uh my mom is seventy eight. She's weak. Yes, she is. There's something going on with uh, her bladder. Uh -huh. Hold on, let me look at mom. She's telling me her throat. Yeah. Her mom, her mom had an aneurysm, baby. Um. She, my mom or my grandmother. Um, away her body was it gave her um she had the osteoporosis quite bad and her generated her, i see her I, I see a, 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 an aneurysm I, I feel like a pop boom quick it was quick it was yeah it was she says and that's what i wish for are they southern yeah. are they southern no um i'm actually from canada where canada vancouver island british columbia it still sounds southern to me, like uh, Italian southern. <laughs> one of my best friends live in Canada. Well, I, one of my, I call her my sissy. She sounds southern to me. <laughs> An Italian southern. <laughs> yeah. And they sound exactly like her, too. Very strong. Uh, to the point. That was it. To the point. Uh-huh. Really? My children are driving me crazy. <laughs> 
All right, darling, do you have any questions that you want to ask? You need to change your eating. You need green. Oh, good Lord Jesus, help me. You need darker greens uh, for your bowels. And you know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. All right, and you need and to drink, uh, uh, they're saying cranberry to flush your system. Uh-huh. Okay. Do you have, do you have um... Hold on, I'm looking at you, sorry. <laughs> Something's going on with your throat, baby. What's up with that? Um, it's more of a chakra blockage, I think. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you have acid no. reflux? No. You have uh, heartburn? No. Keep an, I, I want you to keep an eye on that because I think you do have GERD. Oh. No, okay. Calm down because there's nothing wrong. I can see everything. Okay. I would tell you. <laughs> I, I promise you I would tell you. I seek the truth. I speak the truth. Get your thyroid checked, baby. You, it's your, it's your, the same thing as me. You've got a knot on your throat and I know you do because I can see it. So do I. It's thyroid. It's, th it's your thyroid. Go get it checked. You're fine. That's why your moods have been. Yeah, and Perry, right? So, yeah. No, I'm going to say it straight out. Just the same as me. We get in the moods and we're changed. We're high, we're low. We're high, we're low. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Change, if people, if things start getting on your nerves, walk outside your most definitely mother's earth. Ground it and release it. But get that thyroid checked, baby. You're, 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 you're pre-metapausal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Thank you. It's okay. Change your eating habits. Because when you're, 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 you have a bowel uh, or uh, intestinal issue, digestive issue going on, when that acts up, your moods change just with your, your attitude, with the issues going on. You're trying to ignore it. I don't want you ignoring it. I want you to get seen. Okay. You have a female doctor. I see her. She's awesome. Yep, she is. You also have a male doctor, but the female is really good. Uh, yes, I agree. Okay. All right. Get your butt in ASAP. Just tell them exactly everything. All right, if you need to drink water, a lot of water, even if you have to boil it and then freeze it, it doesn't matter. You like ice in your, you like to crunch. I like cold. I know. I know. I'm, I'm really good at what I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. God bless you. Thanks. You're very yes, welcome. Thanks. You're very have welcome. a great night. You too, baby. Bye-bye. All right, I'm going to take a minute. I'm, I, I'll play you good music, but I need a break. <laughs> All right, staff, line up the next person for me, please. All right. Be back, guys. <clears throat> Here, I'll give you a picture to look at. This picture actually comes alive with spirits. Hold on. I'm not... <laughs> This is my spirit picture. If you look right there, that lady there, that's my great grandmother. That looks like my brother. All right, let's let's fix you guys up. And I might sing to you, so keep your ears clean. <laughs> I do not own this music. Playing from Moto Z, two. Tattletail. There goes my heart beating, cause you are the reason. Allison, I hear you. I'm losing my sleep. Please calm back down. Goes my mind racing, and you are the reason that I'm still breathing. I'm hopeless now. I'd climb.
beautiful. You needed it. It's called meditation. Calming your mind. Not thinking of nothing but what you're looking and watching. Bye, Anna. Love you guys. Stephanie, be quiet. Next! <laughs> All 
All right, John, call me. Well, hello. Well, hello. And how are you, sir? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. <laughs> so, do you want the angels to come through, or do you have a question? Well, I mean, uh, of course, I just had a reading last week, uh, last Sunday, matter of fact, but, uh, you know, since I got laid off, I figured I would ask about... Uh, yeah, but I see something coming. I've got two, two places coming. So what type of places do you think they are? What type of work? Uh, it's going to sound weird, but the old job is going to call you to do something at home. It's picking up. I just got uh -huh. the man say picking up. Um, the other one's a warehouse, honey. It's close. It's like within a 30-minute ride. 20, 30-minute. What is going on with your mom? Her dad's sitting well, there. I mean, she, huh? She has a lot of issues. I mean, she has issues. You know what I'm saying? A lot of issues. Her dad's sitting right beside you. Keep an eye on your you know, mom. mom. Yeah, keep an my eye mom on... has dementia, you know, and she has other, other issues. All right, just keep an eye on her. Her daddy's uh, worried about her. Did she? Is she? Did she slip and fall? Uh, not that I'm aware of. All right. Well, you got to remember, I can see the future too. But please tell them to make sure everything's out of the way. It's something to do with the house slipper she's wearing. Okay. What's going on with your female pup? Um, nothing I know of. Something's going on with her stomach. Kind of like lay off the, uh, treats. Do you give her hot dogs? Um, I haven't for a couple weeks. Well, what is that? It looks like hot dog. Is it bologna? No. All right, just be careful um, with her don't... stomach because she keeps showing me hot What is it? You know, I do I give her treats, you know what I'm saying, every, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, different things. I try to mix it up with her. Don't do that for a while. There's something going on with her stomach. Okay. And it's right next to the sternum area, right where the ribs are, in the middle. Don't give her no more for a while. Okay. It's backing up into her stomach. Whatever uh, it is, it looks light, like a baloney color. It's bologna uh, or hot dog. What what is it? Is it a cookie? Um, I'm not for sure really. I'm trying to think. I mean It's yellowish color. Get, it's a yellow it's got a yellowish brown to color to it. Huh. Um And it's not shaped as I, a circle. It uh, I mean I give them uh, like um Oh, but, uh, I think you're, I mean, I could give them that, uh, you might be thinking about it, give them the uh, stuff you buy at Walmart, it's like, uh, it comes in a roll. Don't, don't give it, it don't give it, it's got, it's don't got give vegetables it, and stuff in it. don't give it to her. It's doing something to her okay. stomach, it's bad, it's, fill her stomach and see if it's hard, because if it's not yet, it will be. Huh. No. So just let her eat. Dog food you can do a topper, but don't do that stuff anymore because something's in it that is not digesting right. Okay. Hey, did you accidentally step on her foot? Um, not that I can remember. I'm trying to remember. I don't, I don't remember stepping well, on her foot. She's telling on you. I can understand animal too. And she said, uh, you, you, you stepped on her toe, her foot. It's possible. I mean, I don't remember if I actually did. She is a I mean, tattle. Probably... She's a tattletale. <laughs> um, I'm 
many You were mad. She said you were mad. She said you were mad. At a man. Mad at a man? Yep, it could have been your boss, but I don't know, but you were mad. She said that you stepped on her foot. Okay, well, I was probably mad at somebody, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, she don't like her daddy mad. It's it's almost like she she can sense every every mood that you have. She really loves you. Yeah, they're both really good dogs. Yeah, well, they love they love their daddy. Pride. Oh, you Pride rotten child! Right what are you doing, you little child? <laughs> they're mad. You didn't put ice in their water. No, I don't put ice in their water now. Why are they saying that the the water's not cold? I don't know, I man. Oh, it's in a it's in a metal bowl. It should be cold then. Yeah, it's sitting on the floor. It's a, it's in a stainless steel bowl. Mm. So I don't know. Mm. Of course, these pugs get hot pretty easy. Yep, they sure do. You know, yep. You have to leave it outside very long in the heat. You can't. They yep. can't handle it. <laughs> so. Yeah, but they love you though. But so, he, that one that which one was that? The boy. That you the just one that's laying right, the one that's laying on the armrest is the boy, and and then that's the the, the, the one right there is the girl. girl. Okay, she's the one that just said something about the water. It's not cold. She said it's not cold. Huh. She's bossy. Well, I guess I'll have to leave some more cold water out there, then, girl. Huh? She's bossy. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. <laughs> she's cute though. She's a good baby. But her tummy's a little hard on the sides. Keep an eye on it. Make sure she's going to the bathroom so she can get rid of whatever whatever's in that tube that you're buying. And it does look like baloney to me. Please be very careful. Don't buy it no more because it is not digesting that baby's stomach. Huh. Nope. Feel the yeah, side of her tummy. I know it has vegetables and stuff like that in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it could be something not digesting, Dad. You have to be very careful. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's what you're saying, though. I mean, that's, if you're saying it looks like baloney, that's what it is. All right. In two days, you're going to get a phone call. Be patient. A phone call from... I can't tell you. you, you you're going to get a phone call in two days. Just let me know when you did. Okay. Uh-oh. Somebody's wanting yeah, your attention. I'm sorry. Yeah, you cut out there. I said somebody's trying to get your attention, your pug. I can hear. Yeah, oh yeah, they're always trying to get my attention. They're spoiled. She's she's bossy. Yeah, they always want. Uh, they always want somebody to love them. <laughs> you rotten baby. The, uh, the, uh, yeah, you know what? I had the reading. You know, the reading last Sunday, and. Uh, you said, you know, my grandmother was coming through, and I thought it was kind of neat that uh, during the week, because he said somebody, she was with somebody with a starter with an L. Yep, she was an, an, animate about it. Yep, she was. And, of course, I never knew her, really never knew her sister, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and somebody just happened to post online, which I sent you the photo, um, just happened to post my grandmother when she was a baby, mm -hmm. and the person that was on her left. Or the person that she was sitting on her little lap was her half sister, which her name was Louisa, I think, was pronounced. I said Louisa. You said no. You don't know. I had to go back. Yeah, I had to go back and. It's know, Louisa or Louise, is what I said. And uh, yeah, yeah, you probably did. I remember you said started with L, but so I mean, I never even knew that person. It was just so happened though that that person that I didn't even know had posted that photo on there. She was. Uh, Kin to me, you know, saying a down the line. So, I mean, you know, you know, what's the odds of that happening? I know, and you didn't even know that she had a half sister, and I can't. She was eminent, man. She's like, nope. It start. She, I couldn't understand what she was saying, and it started with an L, and she was, she was well, one of those, persistent. I didn't even know this, but one of her sisters went missing. Yeah, I, I saw that one too. I saw. I didn't even know that. Yep. Um, because, you know what I'm saying, I mean, my grandmother's been dead now for 25 years. Oh, there. God bless so, her. Uh, the, uh, it's one of the things, I mean, uh, of course, they used to tell me all those stories and everything. You had a white, a white dog?
Who had the white dog? dog? Who had the white poodle? It looks like a poodle. Oh, well, we had, we, we had a poodle when I was growing up. Okay, your poodle just walked in. Oh, yeah. The, the head's yeah. not shaved, the, the ears were not shaved, but the body was shaved, and the, the feet were not shaved. The tail, the end of the tail wasn't shaved. Yeah, that, well, that, but that could have been my grandmother's poodle. She always had poodles, too. And, gra and Grandma, um, Grandma, uh, Grandma smoked? Um, no. Neither one of my grandmothers smoked. So it's it's her husband, the man with the belly. It's the man with the belly. He's okay, that would have been one of my, that would have been the other grandmother's, uh, you know, husband. Yeah, and who's uh, the man that looks like Bing Crosby in your family? Oh, Lord, not for sure. <laughs> He's coming through too. He's an older man. And Grandma wore glasses. Yeah, the sound when you said Grandma wore something. Did Grandma wear sun sunglasses? I mean, uh, glasses. Um. Sixties. Well, I mean, I'm saying you know they would take them off and on. You know, you know, as far as I can remember, they wore you know the reading glasses. They the reading glasses. She has the old cat glasses. I call them the cat glasses. Yeah, I mean, but you know, a lot of times, you know, what I'm saying they didn't wear them full time. They, they would put them on. Them. Your dad does your dad wear glasses and 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 brushes his hair all the way back? Your dad? Does your dad wear glasses? Uh, yeah, well, my 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 dad is supposed to wear glasses, but he doesn't wear them anymore. But um, he basically comes his hair back. Yeah. Miranda, you ha uh, hold on, John. Miranda Kegel, you need to get a restraining order, honey. And then, yes, I do see him. Uh, he's going to get arrested. I don't know if he does drugs or not. This goes to Miranda Kegel. If he's into drugs and drinking, I do see him getting arrested, going away for two years. All right, sorry, John. Somebody was on a domestic violence victim. I, I, I do that. Uh, I take try to take care of that and the runaways. Yeah, I've seen her on the timeline. Yep. All right, well, hopefully she hears what I just said. You're very welcome, honey. Get your butt uh, and get that restraining order. And stop calling him and texting. Somebody's calling and texting him. It's like they're, they're bringing him back. It's not cool. All right, John. Uh, is there anything else you want to ask, babe? You're going to get a call about a job. It's going to be two days. I'm getting two. So it's two days, two weeks. I see two days. So it's probably about what? Tuesday? When, Tuesday, Wednesday? Something like that? Tuesday? Yeah, the only, the only other thing, I, I mean, I'm thinking about getting into um, some stuff for the, the online business that, I'm, that, I'm, that yeah. I have. You know what I'm saying? I just started up my online business. That's and going to be I'm good if you get more advertisement out. Get more advertisement out. That'll do really good. Well, that's what this is supposed to be for. The guy will be talking oh, to and two day, uh, into the advertisement. Well, there gonna... you go. Just have patience. Listen and then yeah, ask. Yeah. A, a, it's in two days I'm getting. You have to ask the right questions. And when he says something, don't get frustrated. Miranda, you need to get a restraining order. And you need to think about moving. All right, sorry, John. I was in, I was in an abusive uh, relationship for fifteen years. I, I I know all about it. It's bad. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to think about it, to live live a life like that. No, it was um, bad. But uh, so yeah, I, I you know that was my thing. You know, since I got laid off, I'm just you know kind of looking for the future or whatever. Uh, so. Um, I see something really good. I I see something really. Good. I see something really good coming, but you have to get out the box from what you're used to. You gotta, you gotta, like, take a change. It's gonna be a dramatic change, but it's gonna be a good change. Yeah, I've got to think it's probably gonna end up being in sales for some reason. Yeah, but that's good. You have the good vo uh, voice for it. Yeah, no, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that I feel the change 
is going to be in sales. It's it's I'm part of it. I'm getting part of that, but yeah, I do. I have a military well, man in here. I have a military man in here. Is that somebody for me or somebody else? I don't think so. I think it's the next caller. Oh, okay. So it's telling me to leave. <laughs> no, <laughs> but they these spirits do souls do not wait. Trust me, you should know that oh. by by now. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, I mean, well, thanks for a lot for the information. You're then, very so, welcome, so. and thank you very much for calling uh, in. Yeah, so I'll be watching the rest of it, and uh, you take care, okay? All right, darling, thank you. Get the baby's hogs for me. Okay, then, thank you. All right, bye. bye. All right, staff, next uh, caller, please. Miranda, I've already helped you, baby. D d don't purchase. Miranda, don't purchase, honey. I've already helped you. Uh, just get a restraining order and think about getting uh, uh, moved out. Move somewhere else and not let them know. You'll be fine. Just don't answer the phone. Don't answer the door. All right, uh, Michelle Doyle can go messenger or sell. Miranda, call the local police department. Tell them what they're go you're going through. You've already pressed charges, and you're still fearing. And ask them to give you a restraining order and some protection if you if you feel it, if you need it. You don't need to, to uh, over, uh, worry. Okay. Hello. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for uh, allowing this to happen. Well, thank you. How many people are in that room with you, baby? It's just myself and my dog. Okay. Who's the man with you? And, like, spirit-wise? Yeah, he's spirit. Is your dad gone? It's not my dad. No, oh. he's here. Okay, so hold on. Is it your mom's dad, military look man? Yes. Okay. He, he's been in here before I even finished the last call. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. No, don't worry about it. But he wears glasses. Does he wear glasses? I'll have to. That's my dad's dad. Very, very. Uh, wear uh, high receding hair. Yeah, he's, he's. Wow. This is crazy. I can see him perfect. You guys see this man right there? Um, We've had a feeling that someone has been around us house for sure yeah well no this man belongs to you blood i um, see blood yeah no it's my dad's dad for sure yeah and the person that's in the house is uh, you have a basement i do not have a basement we live in new orleans okay hold on let me look okay so the house that you were in before that one it had a basement okay yes they followed you it's a child it's a child Mike, Mike, Mikey, Mike. Do you know who he is? I do not. Do you know who uh, was living in that house before you moved there? Oh my God! It, it was a man named Mike. Now they could tell me that he wasn't a child; he was a man. I know, but baby, mentally he was a boy. He was a child. Oh, that is so creepy. Yes, no, no, that's you just tell him <laughs> that. Okay, but all you gotta do, listen. All you have to do is tell him that. His family's looking for him, and that uh, he needs to go find them. That you're not his family, but you appreciate his company, but he needs to go. Wow, I, I definitely... And where is the old doll that you have, honey? Oh, you, my God, it's in my doll case. I, uh, I know. I, I know, and that's got Lily with her. Oh, my God. This is so... This is amazing. Well, thank you. I, I don't... I don't even talk about my dog when I was just, wow. And Lily, I mean, who would have thunk? Yep, it has Lily. 
Mm -hmm. And where's the the flower brooch you have? It's in the doll case. That's got a that that's got uh. What what is yellow pertaining to this? Oh wow, my daughter's color. Uh, she was a floral tra uh, a floral trail queen of a festival of flowers, and her color when she was queen was yellow. Yellow is beautiful. Your daughter's gifted, Mom. Your daughter's gifted. Which one? I have three. The one that we were just now talking about, baby. Okay, good. Yes. And so are you. Wow. You see flash. <laughs> you see flashing lights. Those All the are. Time. I know they're fa they're fairies. They're fairies. Yeah. <laughs> I was thought. I mean. And I the white know, ones I, that I, you keep seeing uh, above the the, the ceiling. They're called cleaners. They're angels. They clean the negative out. That is very good to know because I always fear that kind of stuff. And no, I stop fearing because yeah. you'll manifest it. You'll create it and manifest it. Okay. That is good information to have. I thank you. You're a medium, honey. I know you are. <sighs> I have been seeing things since I was a child and I... But you draw... You, yeah, but you draw. You draw. You're piddling, but you're drawing what's around you or what's being said. So you're you're like, they t it's what they show me. I can I can see their story. It's like you drawing what they're trying to say. I, I do, and I never truly see them. It's always in my dreams or. Well, my... okay. So I want you to do this. This is what I tell my students. You get yes, up, you get your paper and your pencil, and you draw whatever comes to you, honey, because they're trying okay. to tell you something. Okay. Very interested. I think my fear has just gotten the best of me of the unknown. Yeah, don't don't do that because then you're going to create something that's not there. Don't okay. do, don't do that. Okay. M mind over matter, baby. You're in charge. You're the boss, applesauce. They, <laughs> they 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 need you. Okay. So you just tell them I don't understand it and give me enough time, but one at a time if they have to. You're a medium. Uh, well, thank you. This this gives me hope because I've always been. And your really daughter, the little one, is a, a sensitive empath. Oh, my God. Yes, she is. She sees shadow people, which is crazy. Yeah, but her sensitivity is very off the... Uh, her, okay, I'm going to be... I'm a very truthful, straight-out person, okay? Her yes, eating habit sucks. And when, her, when she's not eating correctly, it's not keeping her balanced. And her sensitivity, when she gets into those raging uh, uh, moods that she gets in... It's because there's a soul around. So if you get her on a, a diet, a, a better eating habit. She's a junk food junkie. Yeah. I know. I see her. I'm in your house. <laughs> oh, my God. She had just walked in the room as she, uh, I was talking on the phone. She wanted to know who I was talking to. But yes, ma'am, you're so right. And she was just diagnosed with fibromyalgia because she has such pain. And we couldn't understand where it was coming from. So that's interesting. Yeah. Her fibromyalgia will act up more. Uh, when she's not eating correctly. Are you sure she has fibromyalgia and not Lyme? I don't know. I well, see a tick. Like I see a tick on her on her belly. It's okay. a. So this must have happened. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I, I, baby, have her have her check, please. I don't. I think, absolutely will. I take she, all of this very seriously. Okay, I think she has Lyme, and you can catch it. Okay, because she was in a really bad moment back uh back when i'm getting two so it could be two years two days two months she had a bad uh, bad thing this is lyme this is, i see a tick on her belly wow that would explain a lot because we did months and months of hospital stays and different types of stuff and that's what they ended up diagnosing her with no she needs to be checked for lyme okay thank you and she needs to stop eating chocolate and junk And yes. what is the candy I keep seeing her unwrap? Is it is I it am. licorice or it's uh scotch, butterscotch? Or it's uh, uh what is that uh caramel stuff? Um, she's hiding it from me even now. <laughs> I don't know, but as you're saying this, she covered her mouth and she's giggling on the floor like in shock. So whatever it is, yes. <laughs> All you gotta do is look under her pillow, you'll find it. So or the top drawer okay. of her dresser. Okay, I definitely will do that. 
And I'm what's so up with her? I'm about my dad's guy coming through, though, because my dad's dad, who was a military man, he's got a purple heart, um, he died when I was so young. I didn't yeah, think you that actually, he have a pulp. you lost a baby, didn't you? A little girl. She's, yeah. with, she's with your granddaddy. Are you serious? Yep. She's in a little pink dress. Yep. Yep. She'll, she'll wow. be back. She'll be back as a grandchild. Wow. in her time. Well, that's why I look forward to. I, I really do. Yep. This is amazing. And you have an amazing team behind you. This was my first time ever connecting with you. Mm -hmm. Although I've been, you know, watching you and on Facebook and all. So I thank you that I made this opportunity. Oh, good. Thank you. And there's a, bu a bunch of ugly things being said, but it is what it is. You know what, but you have class, and, you know, the truth always prevails, and that's how I've always had my motto. So good for you for oh, not letting you. this deter your gift. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, it, it's going to sound weird, but you're most definitely a pagan. Change your bed, baby, because that's why you're having nightmares. Change what do you it, mean? It, it change the direction of the bed. Okay. Put it... Uh, Away from the window that you have it at. You have a catty corner at the window. Change yes. it. Change it on the the one wall. Don't catty corner. Put it away from the wall where you can look out, not halfway, half in. Okay. And move that. That is so funny. And I just moved it to like when I nope. came here. Yep. No. Yes. No. Move that. You can get some uh, live plants that'll bring harmony. And then you love herbs. You love herbs. You love, yes. okay, so get your herb garden going and, and put that doll, please, okay, because you're going to heal this child like this. Put the okay. doll by light, by that big window that's in the uh, living room area. Okay. And you have a window in the dining room area too, yeah? Yes, I do. Okay, but it's a real small one though. It's not very big. Uh, okay, don't put it in there. Put it in the living room at the, the door so she can have the light. Light heals. You're most definitely pagan. Oh my god, that's so crazy. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. I'm going to have to hang up and research uh, what really a pagan is, but, and I'm going to have to research my gift, and I'm sure I know I'll be back in touch with you because this was amazing. Well, thank you. And uh, your mama's mom is gone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, she's coming forward. She said, you tell that young lady, I said, she better hush it. Oh my God, that is so how she would be too. <laughs> She's, your mom is driving herself a crazy baby. Your mom, is, mom yes. is driving herself crazy. Yes. Yeah. Get her some knitting. Get her get her stuff to crochet, knit, whatever. Uh, we're trying to do everything we can, but yes, she she's a handful right now. Yeah, but she's dealing with a lot, honey. She's got a lot of pain too, in her stomach, most definitely, her neck. Yeah, she really does have a lot of pain. And it's her so arm, she's got tennis elbow, that. she's got tennis elbow or something going on. She's got peripheral neuropathy and okay. she's on oxygen and she's just been deteriorating. I know, baby, but you know what? Get her some headphones and let her listen to music, baby. It'll help her, her release a lot of that crap. Okay, I will definitely suggest that to her. Anything that can send her some positivity will be great. All right, and you, la all you ladies need to is, uh, drink water. Okay. <laughs> That will do. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. God bless you, honey. Uh, bye. Bye. All right, Stephanie, who's next, honey? All right, who's next, Steph? All right, we've got a half an hour. I can get two more in. All right, can she call me or our uh, messenger call me? She can go live with me or she can call. It's one question or... It, Linda, you haven't missed it, baby. It's still going on even tomorrow if you purchase now. All right, let me get my call. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, Kelsey. How are you, honey? I'm good. How are you? Oh, honey, you are not. You are so lying. You are agitated. What? 
Are you agitated? I'm more nervous, I think, than anything. No, you're agitated, baby. You're irritated at a, a female and a male. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. You're irritated. Who are you irritated at? You got to release. I mean, I live in a house with, like, five other people, so... So you're going stir-crazy? Yeah. 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 All right. So do you have a question, or do you want me to let the angels come through? Read your read um, your surroundings, cause you do you have I is do your, have a question, but it's more like who's with me or is your what mom is your mom uh, okay is your mom alive? Yeah. Okay, so this is grandma. This is mom's mom. Okay. She a kind of a big lady. I mean, I don't I don't know because I I don't remember when I was really young. Oh, okay. All right. You do look a lot like her, though. You look like David. You look like most definitely mom. Oh, yeah. I, I get nicknamed uh, Little Penny all the time. Most That's definitely. My mom, and I'm a miniature of her. I was daughter. wondering why she gave me a penny. Now I know why. It's her baby. <laughs> yeah. 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 And who's the tall, thin man, medium build? Um, I don't know. Would that be her dad? I never met him. Like, he died when my mom was 10. Okay. All right. Because he... Your mom has a brother, correct? Two of them? Brothers? Yeah. Uh... No. I see two... No, she only had a brother. Oh, uh, I see two brothers. Huh. Okay, so... The brother looks like his dad. Big time. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if she... I don't know if my mom had a miscarriage or not. No, this other child, that other child was by another female babe when your granddad was little, young. Oh. Real young, like 14, 17 maybe? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know much about my family history, to be completely honest. You and me both. I don't either. Yep, my grandmother's German, granddad's Irish, grandmother's English. His father's 100% Cherokee and know none of them. Yeah. Yeah. I met my grandfather's sister. I mean, because I never met my dad's grandparents either because they were both passed before I was born. Can I ask what your nationality is, baby? Because there's a man here. He looks Philippine. Um... As far as I was told, it's I'm American, Irish, and German. So he's German. Okay. Because he's got his arms crossed, hair back. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, my... my you have in, grandmother's you last have name in, was O'Connell, so that's where the Irish comes in. Right, exactly. But my last name is German. Yeah, but are you married? No, no. Okay, so who is the male you were with? Belly? He has a belly, kind of high receding hair. I'm not with anybody. Okay, who were you with, baby? Were you married? No. Okay, so who was the man that you were with? I don't know, because I... I haven't really had a boyfriend yeah. since high school. Okay, so who was he? I have no idea. Do you know who Kelly is? What? Kelly. I don't know Kelly. This person is, it's a male. He looks like he might have overdosed. And you have nobody else, do you have anybody else in there with you? No, no, just, it, I'm in my room by myself, actually. Okay, baby, doesn't mean, okay, so the other people that are in your house, who, who are they? Yeah, I have, um, my mom, my stepdad, my brother, my sister, her boyfriend, and 
my niece. Okay, this is your this 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 person I'm I, I'm seeing is related to your stepfather. When, okay. when we're done, ask them who Kelly is, if they knew a Kelly. Okay. Because even though they're not in the room that, with you, but they're still in your surroundings. There's no such thing as walls or distance with me. Yeah. I mean, I know my stepdad had an ex-girlfriend that passed away, but I can't remember what her name was. Was it Linda? I don't think so. Because there's a lady there named Linda there, too. You, oh. That house is full of people, spirits. A lot. Not bad. They're none yeah, of them my, bad. My house is like over 100 years old. So. Okay. Thank you. Because <laughs> there are so many people there, it's ridiculous. Including in your room. You have children in your room. You know, I... That doesn't surprise me in the slightest yep. because you're I always feel like I'm I have energy around me. Honey, you're an empath and you know it. You can you can sense them. You see them. You see uh like something running around. Yes, I do. I and know. I often think that it's one of my old cats because I've had a few cats. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but they they sleep on top of you, baby. Those those sleep on you. I'm talking about the things that you keep seeing running around are children. They're children, wow. and you see them, because they see you, and they love you. Well, that kind of surprises me, because... No, I they mean, feel I'm safe with not you. not very patient with kids, to be honest. No, but you, uh, even though you're not patient with them, you're still a protector. They know it. They know you're a protector. You take no... I, I'm being told... They're saying that you take no shit. They take no shit. <laughs> well, that's... How I try to be. I mean, I, my mom raised a strong girl. You have how many children? What? How many children do you have? I have none. So you raised girls that weren't yours? Uh, no. My sister's daughter lives with me. She's my niece. But we do spend quite a lot of time together. So basically you're her second mom. Yeah, kind of. Honey, do you have thyroid issues going on? Um, not that I'm aware of. I mean, I know it runs in my family, like in my family history. But it wouldn't surprise me. Like, I do have to get lab work done. Because your throat makes me feel like you're trying to grasp for air. Like, there's something stopping you from breathing right. Do you have COPD? Not that I'm aware of. And have your, have your, uh, your, uh, your throat checked, please. And your knee, because okay. your knees even bother me. Yeah, I've had um, ongoing issues, uh, knee issues. Yeah, the left one's worse. The right, uh, the right, the right one's worse. The right, yeah, it's the right knee. Yeah, because I'm, I'm right, actually behind you. And you're, and you have eye issues, honey. Not that I'm aware of. Is one eye weaker than the other? I believe so. Yeah. Your right no, one. I've never had it checked out. All right, but. Well, are you diabetic? No. Your right eye is, is weaker than the other eye. They're actually both you know, of them I, really bad. Both I believe that because I, I constantly feel like I have a spot behind my eye. So that wouldn't surprise me. Because I have it all the time. Yeah, but have yourself checked for plasmosis, please. It's called plasmosis. It means that your mother was around a lot of cats when she was pregnant with you. Because if you have a black spot behind your eyes and you can see it, that's a sign of plasmosis to me. Are you... Okay, uh, are, are I you, will definitely get that checked out. It's that or you're epileptic. Are you epileptic? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay, so have yourself checked for a plasmosis. Okay. And you are most definitely stubborn. Holy cow. <laughs> most definitely stubborn. And I'm being told for you to, t uh, uh, 
Who's the male that committed suicide, baby, that you know? Uh, what? The male, there's a male that committed suicide. Uh, well, I've known quite a few of them, um, within the last couple of years that have committed suicide. Okay, this one's got the darker hair. You, about my age? Yep. That would be Jay. Say hi. He's behind you on your left. Well, hi. And he says you're... Hi, Jay. He, why is he saying you're so full of crap? What? He says you're so full of crap. <laughs> He's hands. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he used to, we used to joke all the time in high school. He was in my math class. He loves you. He still trusts you. You're still his number one. Yeah. He was angry. Mm. He dealt with a lot of emo emotions, a lot. And I, I never knew how much until after he had passed, As how much he had really gone through. Yeah, a lot, a lot, baby. And he's strong. He was strong, but he couldn't take it no more. A lot. Well, is he at peace? He said, hell yeah. He is hilarious. Well, that, that, that makes me happy because... That's all I want, is to know he, that he's okay. He opened his arms and said, I'm here, aren't I? And he said, you are so lying, you can see those spirits. He said, you can see me. He said, I know you can see me. Well, I have, quite a few times. Yep. I see him every time I see a blue jay, and yep. I, I always know that it's him. Oh yeah, most definitely. All right, baby, do you have any other questions that you want to ask? Um, is my cousin Scotty around at all? Like, is he ever around me? He's in the hallway right now. He, he, he's hungry. He wants food. <laughs> that does not surprise me in the slightest. That man could eat. And he's all over the place. He's never sitting still. He, no, and he no, wants to. He, he was always on the go. Yeah, and does he like to drink beer? Yeah, he likes to drink. Okay, because he's got a. He wants a beer. <laughs> well, I can crack a twist of tea for him. Yeah, and he, he he has a horse shack laugh. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. And he thinks it's funny. <laughs> he's hilarious. He's cute. He's a very oh cute guy. God. He was the life of the party. It yeah. didn't matter where he was. He said, was? What the hell are you talking about? I am still am. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, he is hilarious. And what is up with a jackass? Why does he keep showing me a... He keeps saying jackass and then a hee-haw, hee-haw. <laughs> I have no idea. He's always on the go. <laughs> he is a nut. I don't. I, I'm very sheltered. Why is he saying that he wants his uh, pot beef? His beef pot? Or his pot beef? He's hungry. He wants some food. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's roast. It's a roast. It, it's a roast. He wants a roast. Carrots, potatoes, all of it. Onion. Is it handling the onion out? Oh, my God. He is. Well, I guess I might have to make one. Yep, and he, and he likes playing with the toilet. He lets it play. He, he keeps uh, making it run. Oh, my God. I knew that was him. Yep. Yep. And he because I'm constantly here going when, like, nobody's in the bathroom, and I'm like... He jumps on your bed, too, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. He said, you got, he goes like, I don't know if you're watching me. He goes, who's got you, babe? Good, because I need all the help I can right now. He says, oh, yeah, who can handle your mama? <laughs> so, well, I'm just like her, so we're two peas in a pod. He said, oh, my God, I got a migraine. <laughs> he ain't no different. <laughs> he is a hoot. Oh, my God. He's a hoot.
Yep. Yep. All right, darling. Do you have anything else you want to ask? I guess. No, I just. I mean. Drink some water, please. Do I? Take care of your diet. Okay. Take care of your diet, and get some exercise if you have to. Just walk around the house. Okay. And he says, "I'm going with you, and I'll make sure you don't fall." All right. All right, darling. God bless you, honey. You too. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Bye bye. Bye. All right, Stephanie. Uh, I have enough for one more. <laughs> Okay, Joseph Franco, call me on the uh, messenger or the phone, darling. You're very welcome, Kelsey. Yep, and always remember, Kelsey, you are not alone, ever. Even when you're trying to sleep, they, they're trying to make you wake up. They're a hoot. Your family is a hoot. Thank you. Hi, Wendy. All right. Hello. Hi, Lori. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm well, thank you. So, how do, uh, do you have a question, or do you want the, uh, me to see what is going on around you? Um, definitely want to ask you about uh, health. Okay. Um, Honey, is your mom gone? No. Okay. Okay, are you married? I'm not. Ho hold on. This lady... This lady's coming as a mom. And you look like her. Okay. Is, is that your dad's mom? Um, no. Probably more of my mom's mom. I don't think so. This lady's bigger than your mom's mom. Yeah, so it could be my father's mother then. Yeah, it's your dad's mom. And you do, okay. you, you do look like her because I'm standing in front of you. So if you take my left, your right hand, and put, and reach out and go towards the other side, you'll feel a cold draft. That's me. I'm standing in front of you. And you have a man with you, too, that had a heart attack. Okay, probably my grandfather, my mother's father. Yeah, yeah, very, very elegant man, but very strict. Okay. Yep. All right, so what's going on? Okay, so you, wanna, you want me to do an insight on the health? Yeah, if you could, please, I appreciate it. Okay, do you suffer from uh, migraines or headaches? I do a couple of times a year, and they're pretty bad. Yeah, real bad, honey, because you just kicked me in my butt. Yeah. But they hit you yeah, in the not. they hit you in the eyes though first, right? Yes, definitely. Honey, do you have glaucoma? I don't. I, I do have to get my eyes checked, but when I was younger, I used to get my pressure checked. Watch it. Absolutely. I want you to make most definitely. Um, I'm going to turn around and it's my right, your left eye is worse than the other one, but it hits both eyes. And did you break yeah, your sorry. nose before? I'm sorry, say that again. Did you break your nose before? Because on uh, my left, your right side of the nose, the septum is closed almost. No, I, I didn't break my nose, but I, I do know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I can I can live your life to find out what happened. You fell out of off of something when you were little. Yeah, honey, you broke your nose. You just never fixed. They never had it fixed because they didn't know. Okay, could be. And you got hit with a ball okay, before. A ball. Yeah, a baseball in in the face before. You're about nine, when six between younger, six I, and nine. I ran to a doorknob when I was younger. I see that too. Yeah, you need to get that septum checked. Your headaches wouldn't okay. be so bad, or the pressure. All right, I'm writing all this down, actually. And you have knee issues going on, too? Yeah, it's weird. I, I have, like, weird things that I can't figure out. Yeah, but you got to be like very that. careful, not being rude. I'm a very, very straightforward person. 
your grandma was a hypochondriac, baby, you've got to be very careful. This is this could be hereditary. Because a lot of things that I'm seeing are being created by you. You're, you're spiritual, too. What, yeah, what, that's actually the other thing I wanted to ask you about. Okay. Time. What, the UFOs? Well, as far as that, um, I, I do have a medium ability. I know I do. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, the past two years, it, it like went away, vanished. No, it didn't know, like, go. It no, it didn't. Away. Listen to me. No, you didn't. No, it yeah. didn't go nowhere. I can see people. I can live your life to tell the story what you're not paying attention to. It didn't go anywhere. It's you putting your thoughts on everything else except for where it needs to be. Okay. So you have to. You you need to start writing, and with a pencil on a paper, not a mechanical pencil or a, or a pen. Start writing and just, I don't care what it's about. You're a channeler as well. So you start writing and you're releasing what does not belong to you. Plus, you're, you're getting no no exercise. You get no, you, none. So you have to start getting out. You need fresh air. You're most definitely part of earth. Your air, your air and earth. That's why you feel the need to go, but you can't. And your fingers are starting to get a little bit of arthritic. How old are you? Because you're most definitely an old soul, but a very young. That's true. I'm 32, but I'm definitely an old soul. I know you're, that. Yeah, you're very old, but you're so stubborn, baby. you got to stop being stubborn. Because that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> your stubbornness is your father. Your bullheadedness is your mom. And, and, and you're most definitely, you got your grandparents around. Being a sensitive empath, you're becoming it. Be careful with that hypochondriac stuff, because you're too young. You get you. You understand. You got. This is your season, reason, or a lesson. This is your your uh, season right now. You have to fight it. It could be a test. Okay. All right. And you most definitely need to start writing. You you draw. I I, I draw in my head as mid as that sounds. No, you have to start writing it. That's what's going on. You need to start writing. Start doing it on a paper with a pencil. You're releasing it. You're most okay. definitely a S E E R. Look it up, seer. You're, you're old. S-S-E-R? S-E-E-R, seer. You're a seer. Okay. And, start, okay. and you have a little bit of a... Um, and, and please forgive me, I'm very truthful. I'd rather the truth than, okay. than lies. But you're, you're most definitely got a lot of ego you've got to fight. This is that, That's your karmic. Not karma, it's karmic. Something coming from a past life and this life where you're needing to beat it. You need no ego. You have a lot of ego. You even have a short yeah. fuse. Stop. It's mm -hmm. your karmic. Because if you can you can beat it in this life, you've actually cleared the rest of the lives that you've had. Okay. That makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. Um, do you think a past life regression would help me at all? Um, it depends on who you're going to go to. Uh, I do the past regression, yeah. past lives, and all that myself. Um, okay. Just stay with your gut instinct with that. Because I... You've got to rem a lot of people don't realize whoever you're going to, some people don't realize that they're taking energy, not giving energy. Okay. And you've seen too many, baby. You've got to you've got to stay with one. You've got okay. to stop stop going to all of them. You can go see them, but don't keep getting readings because people don't realize you're getting penetrated. You're getting fooled. Okay. You're getting fooled. You're you're fooled by two of them, a male and a female. The female looks he kind of heavy set, and the male looks like a big guy. Okay. Please be careful yeah, who yeah. you're trusting. All right. And I've, I've gone for readings before, not so much to connect with past people, but to, to help me with my stuff, like um, spiritual. Well, get into a mentoring class, baby. Stay with one sensei and think about getting into um, Reiki. You're most definitely a healer. You could be a healer with your positive thoughts, but you being a hypochondriac, becoming one, and worrying about everything that's not there, you're creating life to it. You're cre you're manifesting life to it. That's not who you are. That's not who you are. You're a seer. Seers, it could be because of so many lives that you've had. You've lived it. Now everything is like, I am it. You're not. You're not. Gotcha. No, you're not. And you need to finish your school, your granddad said. My what? Your schooling. You got credits to get. Okay. Granddad said get the credits done. Yeah. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Um, yeah, he does too because he loves you. <laughs> medium stuff. You know, I, 
helped a lot of people when it comes through, but it stopped. No, it doesn't. It didn't well, stop. What happens is people don't realize if you're not doing the right things for the right reasons, you can lose it faster than you got it. Get in. I, I'm a mentor. Uh, if you want to get into my mentoring classes, it's a five-day class. It's not consecutive. I do test you and I do give you homework. Remember, senseis can guide you. They can't do it for you. Right. All right. And I want you to think about getting into that Reiki because you're most definitely you should you should have been a doctor. Everything down. All right, darling. Just stop being so hard on yourself. Lose that ego. Look it up. Understand okay. what it is, and and lose it, because that's not who you are. You're a beautiful light. You're gonna. Yeah, I feel that. Well, you are, and I wouldn't tell you if if you weren't. I'm very truthful. All right, Captain. All right, darling. God bless you, honey. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hey, drink some water. All right. The gentleman that I hung up, he need, you need to change your eating habits. No junk. Drink more water. Uh, eat, uh, right now, you've got a little bit of a sinus infection going on. Uh, chicken soup. Get some chicken, boil it, and then uh, put some a little bit of, I know you don't like it, but put a little bit of onion and put some, uh, you need vegetables. You're, you're not a vegetable person. All right, I can do one more, Stephanie, if there is one. Plasmosis. Plasmosis, Kelsey. Plasmosis. You're very welcome, Joseph. Watch this video and I need you to do exactly what I just said on the healing side okay exercise those legs you're getting stiff and Charlie horses a lot most definitely Trisha thank you all right staff do I have anybody else if anybody is interested in our mini read what I just did or have been doing um, go to my website I'm gonna do this again tomorrow night uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, Joseph, good. Drink water, Joseph, and, and your stomach's a little upset. Get some apple uh, apple juice and flush your system out a little bit. You're very welcome, Kelsey. Hello, Miss Pamela. Crystal, I can do you tomorrow, honey, if you get, go ahead and visit my, my uh, website, baby. If it goes over, it goes over. All right, Steph, who's next, baby? I could take one more. I've got three, four minutes to go. Hello. Hi, Lori. This is Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, uh, honey, you're not good. <laughs> your your emotions are all over the place, baby. <laughs> A little. No, 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 no. Don't fool yourself. No, you're all over the place. You, 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 you make me feel like you don't know if you belong or not. Yeah, you do. You're, you're most definitely gifted too. You do know that, right? Um. Mm, don't fool this redhead lady. <laughs> and your stomach is so bad off, baby. You need okay. iron. You need iron in your system. You need potassium. Uh, leaves the sodium alone. You're so hard headed. <laughs> that yes. All right. So. All right, you need to eat better. Okay, I've been trying. Okay. I'm right behind you. If you feel a cold draft, that's me. <laughs> you have a lot of things all over the place, honey, and, and you being gifted, uh, you're, you're picking up everything. Everything has life. Everything is, is energy to it. And okay. who who's the male in the house? Um, like a sister, right? No. He's, um, he's in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. My husband. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of tension between you two. Okay. Yes or no? Um, sometimes. Cal Kelsey, you, you see me on this video? Really? Yeah. You, you're, you're fibbing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not a bad thing, but there, you, you two need, a, 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 like, an adult time, if that makes sense. 
Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, you really Absolutely. do. Even if you just surprise him uh, doing a, a, a picnic out in the back. Just you two. Okay. And wh what does he do? Because I see him in, uh, it looks like a uniform or it's scrubs. Um, he travels a lot. Yeah, but he has to be very careful with this crap going on. Yeah, he does. Has he got a stomach ache too? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Is he getting sick? Um, I don't think so. He's worn out. That's what his problem is. He's worn out and needs a bath and soak. Okay. And he drinks, he, he, he drinks sodas? Oh my God, honey, his stomach is getting ate up like crazy. Okay. And he drinks too, because I can see it. Yep. It's the sodas that are eat is eating his stomach up. He's a lot like okay. his mom. I'm sorry? He's a lot like his mom. Oh my God, yeah. He's got his dad's stubbornness stuff. His dad's, yes. his dad's gone, or is still here? No, he's still here. Is that his biological or his step? It's biological. Okay. Oh my God, you know what? Somebody's been staring at me all this time. I now know who it is. Who? The South Korean guy died and he's he, he's here with me. He ain't allowed here, I don't like him. He needs to go like, <clears throat> he's Not the one sure. that, I, okay, the one, okay. This, this is way off the bat, but he, the South Korean guy is the one that promised us that he was going to do something to us. Okay. Yeah, he, I think he died. And he's here. Oh. Yeah, he's here. And him and his father. Okay. Mm, they're not good people. He was the one that was shooting the missiles off in Korea. Okay. And your granddaddy's gone, the big guy? What do you mean by big? He, he's, I'm five, three and a half, baby. He's a big man. He's tall. Yeah. You can say hi to him because he just got in my face. He says, I'll, I'll take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> Go get him, Grandpa. <laughs> I, I don't want those people here. No way. Mm -mm. Because I was questioning if he was really alive or not. Yep, Kim jong Un. Yep, he's, he, he, him and his father are here. Mm. Huh. I think that son died from the poison he was doing to us. I think they're the ones that did it, not China. Or, uh, yeah, China. I don't think China did it. Okay. All right, so ask your question that you want to ask, baby. Sorry, I didn't mean to. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, North it's okay. Korea. Um, my grandfather. Granddaddy's already there. He, he wants to take his belt off and go, yeehaw! <laughs> You, did you lose a baby, honey? No. He has a little boy with him. A little boy with him? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you did, baby. You were in, uh, how old are you? 28. Okay, what happened to you at, uh, between 16 and 22? Um, not that I'm aware of. Were you in a car accident? No. I feel like I've been shoved. Um, no, not that I can remember. Okay. I don't want to put your, your laundry out there, but you were young. Okay. You were young. Because you still have a baby face. That's a good thing, though. <laughs> that, that's a really good thing. And you're most okay. definitely an old soul, though. And you know that. You're, you're gifted. Uh -huh. You're gifted, too? Um, I can feel things sometimes, yeah. I feel. Do you get drawn to tarot's? Tarot, what do you mean? tarot cards? No. Mm, yeah, you will be. Okay. Yeah, you will be. Stones, too. Gemstones. Amethy okay. Amethyst, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, you will be. And you have kids? I do. Daughter? Yes. 
She was gifted too, Mom. I, I kind of thought she was. Yep. She sees a man in her room. It's a young male that uh, overdosed. Okay. Do you know who he is? Her so. dad knows. Her dad yeah. knows him. Okay. I'm in her room. I'm just looking to make sure. She's got angels everywhere. Holy cow. Yep. My stuff only got uh, across a, uh, it's got a cross over her door. Okay. She has angels everywhere. She has Mimo, Momo, Momo, Mimo. There's an older lady calling herself Mimo. Heavy, yeah, heavy set lady. A heavy lady. Yeah. Um. Is that your dad's mom? No. Maybe his grandmother. Okay. I I think it's her dad's mom or dad's grandma. She's a big lady, short, curly hair, dark hair. Okay. She has uh, dark eyes, so they're dark blue or they're brown. Okay. She has a dimple in her chin. She's kind of heavy set, smoked. Okay. Do you know who she is? I don't. It's not ringing any bells. Do you know who Gloria is? Gloria. Um. I don't. I don't think so. Ask her husband. Okay. If he knows. And it looks like his dad's mom side. Okay. She's calling herself Mimo. Okay. I'll ask him about it. Is your husband's mom kind of heavy set lady? Yes. Is she sick? Um, no, I don't think so. She has no dementia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's? No. How old is she? Um, she's in her 50s. It's not her. It's 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 the dad side of the mom side of the family. It's the his grandma, his his uh his grandma, his dad's mom's side. His dad's mom's side. Okay. Your your baby sees that, sees her. Okay. And she keeps saying the, that that name. Okay. How old is she? Who, my daughter. Yeah, your baby. Uh, she's two. And she's got stomach issues too, because she's showing me she's got a stomach ache. Um, past couple days she has, yeah. What have you all been eating, baby? Because whatever it is, it's gas buildup. It's gas. Okay. It's gas buildup. It's, uh, um, is she uh, lactose to milk? Um, no, I don't think so, no. Okay, keep an eye on her when she drinks milk. Fill her tummy about a half hour later and see if it's hard. Okay. Because it's hard. Like, she, she's she got gas built up. Okay. She loves to eat, I'll too. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. Yeah, she's a good baby. Very smart baby. She is. Very smart. Very, and she loves to dance. Yes. Yeah, she's dancing she with me. I, I can see her soul. She's dancing with me. <laughs> she's beautiful, baby. Yep. Thank you. Oh, honey, that, that baby is her twin. That baby, okay. that's, you were pregnant with twins. You were having complications, yes? Um. That's her twin. Could, okay. You're how old? 28, right? 28, yeah. And, and you had her two, two years ago, correct? Yes. It takes nine months. That's almost three years ago. Uh, yeah. It's her twin. I was pregnant too with twins and didn't even know it for six and a half months until I lost a little girl and then my son was lost by my heart. Okay. Your daughter sucked her thumb when she was born, yeah? Uh, she tried to, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her brother's with her. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It just wasn't his time. That's all it was. He'll be back. Okay. Yep. Yeah. He looks like his dad. Okay. <laughs> Yep, he has your eyes, though. <laughs> she sees him. Ask okay. him. Okay, ask her what his name is. She'll give him a name. Okay. So, do you see a little it. boy? 
and she'll say yeah and say what's his name okay i'll ask her yep and who's the female that died um my grandmother no 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 honey this is your friend it's a friend old friend Female, yep. Old friend. Yep. Blonde. Uh, dyed her hair blonde. Um, I'm not sure. She makes me feel like I flipped in a car. I'm not sure. Casey, who's Casey? Um, I don't. I don't. Wasn't friends with anybody named Casey. And and school, honey. This girl's been gone for a while. You lost contact because you all moved. Ninth grade. Try to remember ninth grade. Kelsey? The only, the only girl that I know, Casey, that I would know from ninth grade, she's still living. Alright, keep in contact with her because I see futures too. But she makes me. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think it's her. Because that girl's skinny and dark hair. And dyes her hair okay. blonde, yeah? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. But it's not her. This girl's kind of chunky. Not chunky, but I, uh, bigger. I mean, I'm in the size 5'7". Okay. She's bigger than that. She's like nine, eight, nine. Okay. E even back then. Um, let me see if I can tell you a memory. She was a bully in school. So she wasn't your friend. She's the one that pushed you. At the, the locker. Do you remember that? Katie? Katie. Okay. Do you know if she's still alive? Yes, she is. Please be careful with her. I mean, uh, just, do you keep contact with her? Occasionally, yeah. Alright, just tell her to just be careful with in the car. Okay. Yeah. I can do that. It's her friend. Her friend. It's her okay. friend. Remember what I said what she looked like, right? Yes. Okay, ask her if she know if she lost a friend that that looks like that. Okay. It's her friend. This okay, girl, this, I'll just ask her. this girl makes me feel like she's she gets stoned. Okay. Like smoke smoking pot? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, and drinks wine coolers. Okay. Do you know who I'm talking about now? It could be a number of people. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to go through your your past to see if I can remember. I remember, I see the being pushed. She's a bully. Are you sure I wasn't the bully? <laughs> Okay, so who's the girl that you pushed? <laughs> um, oh man, that feels like forever ago. I'll show you, wrap my brain around it. I can't think of anybody that. Okay, a, okay, okay, I'm being told. When it, when it's right, you're gonna remember. Okay. She's gonna keep an open mind to it. Yep. Yep. Don't okay. don't wanna. Uh... Okay. Don't want it. No, want to know it. It'll come to you when it's supposed to. Okay. Did you have premonitions, honey? What does that mean? Premonition means you've seen something before it happened. You got gut, um, gut, gut instinct. Yeah. I do. Okay, do you remember the, the gut instinct about somebody dying and they did? Um, I can think of one scenario off the top of my head, yeah. Was it a female and a male? Um, no, it was just a male. Well, did you know there was a female with them? No, because it, it would have been my grandfather. No, this is younger, honey. 
you've had premonitions for a while. Okay. When you get those those premonitions, I get them too. Turn them. Turn turn your thought around and say this is not the story. It's gonna. This is not how it's gonna end. Okay. Okay. I, okay. I, that means that you've got to walk yourself back through it and change the scenario. Change it. Okay. And who's the man that shot himself? Um. That's a good question. I think. I think my husband's grandfather. He's coming through. He's honoring. He says, they're all going to hate me. They're all hating me. Okay. He's honoring. Doesn't make him a bad person, though. Okay. All right, baby. Yeah, that's Change your eating habit, please. Okay. And, and when you're getting premonitions, please get a pencil and paper and write it down and then rechange it. Change it around and then fold okay. it in half and put it... Uh, don't burn nothing. Don't rip nothing. Throw it away or bury it. So okay. the better can come back out of it, okay? Okay. Sounds good. All right, honey. You got anything else you want to ask? Um, I just want to know if my grandfather is at peace with everything that happened after he passed. He just went like this. He gave me two thumbs up. Okay. And he shakes. He said, yeah. I, I didn't expect it, but yeah, I, I'm very pleased. Okay. So whatever y'all did, y'all must have had to do it right then and there. Okay. Did you or not? Um, I don't know, because it's just a lot of family drama. Yeah, but the way they, that they handled him, he's fine with it. So if you're talking about the personal surroundings of him... He, he swishes it away. He's swishing okay. it away. He says it's all greed. Okay. Do you get that? Absolutely. Yes, I absolutely get that. Okay. Absolutely. He, 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 doesn't, he doesn't want bitterness. You know what I mean? He doesn't. Okay. He don't want no bitter, bitterness. He says, ah, oh, the hell with them. Give it to him. Okay. He said because he ain't going to get nothing out of it. Okay. He, he's he's ornery. <laughs> Yes, he is. Okay. <laughs> he's ornery. <laughs> he's cute, but he's ornery. Yes. Very much so. Yeah. He says, I'm just going to sit here and turn my damn show on. <laughs> that sounds like him. Okay, because he said, turn my damn show on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a cute and smoothie. You got his eye shape, his shape of his eyes. Yes, I do. And his smile. I do. Yep. All right, baby girl. God bless you, honey. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. I'm going to go uh, back live tomorrow uh, night. If you want answers to the uh, colored circles, uh, watch the, at the beginning of this, and you'll, you'll get your answers. I will write them on uh, that post. Uh, sooner or later. Right now, I'm kind of like tuckered out. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for joining tonight. God bless you. Stay happy. Bye. Bye, guys.